What are the qualities you're looking for in these films? Always the same in, in, all, sort, in, in all sorts of art is that uh, what I see is alive. That it is alive and it makes me more alive. That I can, that I, my heart beats and that I breathe and uh, that I feel suddenly I, I feel uh, I understand something. Mr. Bergman, what do you think of the standard of the films in this competition? The standard is... Uh, uh, we haven't seen all the pictures yet, but until today we have, set, set, we have seen five or six of the pictures and uh, it's... Um, Marvelous standard of it. Are you impressed? It's, it's, uh, uh, it's very difficult to say. We don't uh, we don't take it that way, because of course when you see uh, when you are, are in a jury, when you sit there in a very difficult situation uh, to judge. Uh, you have to try to be very objective, and um, and uh, you can't, unfortunately, because that was my illusion when I said yes to this. This was my illusion. My God, I can sit in a beautiful, wonderful, comfortable hotel, uh, looking at three or four pictures a day. It's a paradise. But it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit different. So I, 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 I ha It's difficult to to talk about the quality and so on. About it. But I'm very impressed. Of course, I am. Very In what way is it different from what you were expecting to be a judge? <laughs> uh, uh, the difference is not. Um, it's it's my. The difference is my situation. Uh, I, I expected to be an, an audience. And now I have to sit there and look at the pictures to compare one picture with another and so on. And uh, it's, uh, it's not so funny. It's interesting, but it's not so funny. It must be very difficult to judge films one against another, because each film must be an entirety of its own. Of course, of course it's, it's, it's impossible in a way, uh, because you know there are also music competitions or theatrical competitions, and I think it's absolutely impossible to compete, compete in, in art. What are you looking for? What are the qualities you're looking for in film in these films? Always the same in, in all sort in, in all sorts of art is that uh, what I see is alive. That it is alive and it makes me more alive. That I can that I my heart beats and that I breathe and uh, that I feel suddenly I, I feel uh, I understand something. Uh, it's the same with uh, all art. You are looking for for uh, something that you need. It's very personal then. So is it possible to be objective as a judge? No, in a way, yeah, it's an illusion. It's an, uh, <laughs> it's a complete illu illusion to to be objective. You 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 try to be, you try to be uh, objective, but uh, honestly, it's it's not possible. What do you think of the state of European cinema at the moment? You're seeing the newest films in this competition. Yes. Do you feel that the climate is healthy in European cinema? Uh, 
uh, healthy is a big word. It's very much. Um, I think there is. It's vital. Uh, now we know every when everything has changed. There is a new vitality, and uh, it will be very good for the for the European cinema. But of course, we have we are in in Euro Europe. Uh, we are in big trouble because of the American cinema. They have uh, occupied Europe. And we are not going to, uh, it would be meaningless to fight the Americans. But what we can do is to tell people we are here, we also make pictures. We are make pictures in your language, and please come and see our pictures too. But um, as you know, the Americans uh, are very, very strong, and, and uh, our room of living, our space, will be smaller and more narrow every year. But uh, still, I think we are very vital, and we are not going, we don't intend to die. Bertolucci said just recently that the thing he worries about in cinema at the moment is that increasingly films are made for the small screen, the television. Mm. Do you see that happening as well? Yes, but uh, my um, I'm I'm a little bit my opinion is is a little bit different because I liked the television very much. You know, uh, after having left the filmmaking, now I live on a very small island in the Baltic Sea with uh, four hundred inhabitants and far from everything. And um, when I have uh, gone with a car to, to the place where you buy your papers in the evening and it's dark, you can see in the houses that little uh, frame all over. And s perhaps they have a, a, a picture, a movie picture or something like that. I think uh, I'm very fascinated by the television. I am a television freak. I love uh, te the television. Yes, that's true. I, I love the television and I have written uh, my, my last picture, Fan and Alexander, was not uh, 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 originally. It was made and written for, for six hours for the television. And now I have written another uh, play, also a f four long feature pictures, four ninety minutes pictures, just made, only made for the television. So I think it's very fascinating. So there is an enormous difference, of course, between the magic of the television set and the screen. The, the shadows on the screen, of course, there is an enormous difference. So you think there's a place for both, and that there are films well, that yes. can be made for both? And they can, they can uh, inspire each other, they can stimulate each other. We can have a lot of, uh, we can get a lot of help. And we have a lot of, her of help from, from, the, from the television. In this competition, the films that you've seen so far, do you feel they've been devised for the big screen or for a small screen? It, with some pictures you can say, of course you can, can say, uh, this picture will lose a lot, uh, artistically, 
when it comes to to the small screen. And it's of course when you have a, a cinema scope picture and uh, you see it uh, castrated, ca castrated in. In, a, in, in the television set, you, you feel very, very unhappy, you know, uh, Tarkovsky's uh, one of, what was it, the Yttersta Domen? Andrei Dubov is my, one of my most beloved pictures, uh, or uh, Nushkin's picture about Molière. It was impossible to see it in in uh, in um, on the television screen because everything disappeared, the magic disappeared. But other pictures, uh, you can see them very good, and sometimes they are better. Television often offers an intimacy, mm. I think, doesn't it? That the screen doesn't necessarily do, which of course is particularly good for your work. Your work's always very intimate. Yes, so the, you know uh, the difference. The the fantastic thing with what you love most, I love most, with the with the television and with the television screen, is that you see a face, and you can let the camera be uh, quiet, looking at that face. And to me, the cinematography in itself, the, 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 the most remarkable thing with the cinematography, that is the human face, that is alive. You can look at it, you can look at the skin, the eyes, the thousands of muscles here, around here. It's the most fascinating that exists to me. Do you think then the camera can offer something that the eye misses? Oh yes, oh yes. Oh, oh, it's 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 very funny because with the real cinematographic um, actors, the actors who are uh, geniuses gen uh, in film, you. You sit close to them when you when you you make your take as a director. You can sit here. They play the scene, and suddenly when you see them, and the camera can see things you don't see, even if you sit as we do now. So when I then see the rushes, I can see things I didn't see when uh, when uh, when we made the takes. It's very strange. It's very strange, and it's very. It's some sort of a magic. Some actors are married to the camera, and the camera lo and the camera loves them. The camera loves them, and you don't know. You don't know what it is. You don't know why. It's 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 just so. So, this is obviously why you need the different medium of film, television, theatre. Yes. Because they all require different styles and exactly. directing. And it's so it's so absolutely different from each other. So I have been very happy with my mediums. And you love all of them equally. Uh, yes. No. I I uh, I have uh, finished with filmmaking. Uh, my filmmaking, and I have finished the uh, making of TV pictures, uh, I write some scripts, but I am still at work at the theatre. And I started at the theatre, and now I have lived with the theatre for 50 years. So, uh, and I have made about 150 productions for the theatre, and I think I can stay there. Perhaps another <laughs> year or two, I don't know. Because, you know, on the, at the theatre, uh, we, uh, the, the, exp the human experience 
can be very important. When you are making a picture, you have to have a lot of muscles. <laughs> That's the difference, I think. Do you feel nostalgic about filmmaking, being part of this competition, watching the new films? Do you just feel... No, 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 not at all, not at all. Uh, uh, my decision to uh, conclude to make an end of my filmmaking was so convinc to me so convincing. I love film. I am a, a passionate film goer. I have a, on on that small island. I have built in a barn from the 17th century. I have built the most wonderful cinema you can imagine. With 20 seats and every technical equipment you can imagine. And three o'clock every uh, of evening, afternoon. Three o'clock. Afternoon, yes. <laughs> yes, every day I go to my cinema and uh, uh, I can get pictures from, and I get pictures from the Swedish Cinematic and from other cinematics. So uh, mostly old pictures from the 20s and 30s and silent pictures and uh, it is my drug <laughs> to see uh, to, to go to the cinema at three o'clock. Why do you choose the older films? Do you feel that the modern films lack something? No, 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 no. Uh, uh, it, of course, it's 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 that's I think is pure nostalgia. Uh, because to me, the silent film was on its way to find uh, something to uh, to express itself in a very peculiar, very very. In a, in a absolutely original way, when the when the sound came and destroyed it all and uh, gave the the um, uh, utveckling the development the development another way uh, direction, so. Uh, You know, it is, it is incredibly fascinating to sit there and it's absolutely quiet around you and the, f the, fa the faces, the shadows on the screen turn to you and say things to you and you don't hear what they say but you feel what they say. And that is, a, that, that is pure magic. <laughs> you, well, of course, you are a great one for the silences, for what is not said, what is felt rather than mm. stated. In the films that you're seeing now in this competition, do you see a continuation of that kind of tradition? No. No, no. Uh, it's, it's something else. What, uh, uh, there is, the whole time, there is a, a marvelous uh, movement. Move the, it moves the, whole, the vitality of the filmmaking. It moves the whole time. And uh, what way it will go, I, I can't. I, I don't know. What is interesting is what the television makes. Those uh, uh, music videos they try a new way and try uh, a language of their own. And that is very fascinating. If you don't get epileptic, you <laughs> can and have the patience to sit down and look at them, and you suddenly is, there is a, a, 
a videotape full of invention and full of uh, uh, its own la language and full of expression and, and muscles and uh, is powerful and I love it, I must say I love it. So that is uh, in a way a new, la new language, an absolutely new origin language. How do you think we should protect Eastern Europe now from the invasion of America and the filmmaking tradition to present? I think that's impossible. I think it's impossible. It, 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 we, we, we have, it is impossible that we don't protect them, that we see that they get as much as possible, and then they can make that choice. If we can survive during that time, or the European, or the, the Russian film, or the Hungarian film, or, or the Georgian film, can survive during that time. Uh, we, we just can pray for it and hope that they will. And then when they are a little bit tired with that American food, they can turn around and say, didn't we have our food of our own? And we, that is what we can hope. In this competition, can I just ask you, is there one film that you've seen or one actor that inspires you, that you think this is, this is great, this is the future? There is always... There are always actors, wonderful actors in every picture, even if in bad pictures you suddenly see an actor that you want you fall in love immediately. And you think, oh my God, what a wonderful human being. So it's all, it exists all over the world. And just finally, Andre Vida is getting the yes, Lifetime yes. Achievement Award. Would you like to pay tribute to Mr. Vida? I, I, if I'm not too shy, because I'm a very shy man, I would love to, to, on the stage, to give it the prize to him, because I love him as a brother, and I have always felt some sort of connection with him, and he has inspired me very much. And some of his pictures are even unforgettable for me. Will you want to be a judge again? If I survive <laughs> this, this, if I survive this time, I think that uh, it was a, a wonderful experience. But uh, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Never more. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Very